हेलो 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 वेलकम एवरीवन टू ब्लिट्स चैलेंज विद सविता श्री दिस इज गोइंग टू बी अ वेरी वेरी एक्साइटिंग स्ट्रीम वेयर यू ऑल गेट अ चांस टू प्ले अगेंस्ट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट राइजिंग एंड अपकमिंग टैलेंट्स ऑफ इंडियन चेस सविता इज जस्ट फोर्टीन इयर्स ओल्ड शी इज रेटेड टू टू एट वन she has won the world under 12 championship i believe and maybe this was true a few months ago and i think it's still true she is the highest rated under 14 girl in the world of chess uh, and she is also part of the online olympiad team where you know she'll be in the same team as vishi anand hampi uh, harika vidit hari krishna and all the players so this is your chance to play against a very very big talent Uh, but before you guys get a chance to play against her we have a special guest who's going to challenge her and give her a tough fight hello savita hello biswa hello hello a <laughs> tough fight okay <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, savita how are you yeah i'm good you are good are you excited today to play against to play some chess yeah i'm very excited to play with him actually huh. like I've never played, and so I'm really excited. You're very excited, and uh, have you have you played? Uh, have you seen Biswa playing chess? Have you seen Biswa doing comedy? Which one have you seen him? I have seen, but uh, I don't remember the name of that Biswa. So. Oh, you seen his comedy uh, also? No, uh, I've seen some of chess playing. Ah, so. chess! <laughs> <laughs> you seen him playing chess, and uh, are you a little bit scared playing against him, or not really? Uh, Oh my God! Sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm not scared, but I'm uh, excited. Yeah, it'll be fun, and uh, this uh, we are going to have ten plus two. Biswa, I I know that this is a very tough challenge for you to play no, against Savita. <laughs> See, it's very easy <laughs> <laughs> because I just have to go there, play some moves, go home. Like uh, just go watch TV. There is no like challenge in when <laughs> I have no. chance of winning and all. But but you know. Uh, When Savita played Super Juniors Cup, like in December, she was pitted in round number one against Nihal Sarin. I saw that match. Yeah. So Savita, you remember, right? Uh, yeah, everyone, yeah, yeah. everyone thought that you have no chance, but actually, you almost beat Nihal in the first round. Like it, it ended in a draw, first game. So yeah. and then you lost one and half, half. So in chess, anything can happen, right? Anyone can beat anyone. So we'll, we'll, it'll be exciting. Uh, you can challenge each other to a 10 plus 2 game and guys uh, after this game i will also give you instructions on how you can challenge savita the link is in the description but please do make an account don't come as a guest just don't click the link and be there make an account so that savita knows whom she is playing uh shall i uh, send a request yes i think savita savita has already sent yeah it. yeah absolutely how to accept it oh the game is about to begin one second you just double click on the uh, that one i've accepted it's not starting oh uh, can you send her i i'll just refresh my page ah, yeah so let me see what happens <laughs> mayur says savita should have done some acting like oh no i'm scared are <laughs> uh, i don't have for uh, okay glitch just wants to use my location mm -hmm. okay i'm sending one more challenge to savita okay 10 plus 2 savita you will get it uh, below in the invitations there yeah. i think savita has sent i think savita has sent so i'm accepting okay okay yeah, yeah. Match start. Okay, game okay. has begun, guys. Let Take me just. Take off my headphones. Okay, okay. Let me see if I can get this here. One second. Ah, okay, all set. Okay, game is here, guys. Uh, also, I'll get the clock and everything so that we can watch it. Savita is, I think, black. Biswa is white. Oh, she's played the Khan variation. She's played the Khan variation. One second. Also, let me see. 
let's get the clocks as well yeah biswa is white savita is black Okay, so we have the clock here. Let me also make sure that we have the proper both of them here. So this is Savita. Because Savita is black, she should be on this side. And Biswa is white, so he should be here. So, by the way, Savita has just pinned the knight to attack the e4 pawn. His this is great, right? I'm fixing OBS also commentating. Uh, Biswa played f3 and Savita played queen c7. Oh, I thought she will play d5 there. d5 was a strong move, but okay. Let's take it from the top now. All set, all set. Hmm. Okay, so. So how did it go? e4, c5, knight f3, e6. This 10 minutes plus 2 seconds increment. But with you, Savita will play 3 plus 2. Okay. Cd4, knight d4 open. This is known as the Sicilian Khan. Knight, bishop e2 is fine. Biswa could have also played knight to c3. This is also a good move. Bishop e2, knight f6. And now he went knight c3. Savita played bishop to b4, which is a good move. Uh, attacking the knight and also threatening to take this pawn. Now, when Biswa played f3, here, oh, this is going to be brutal. Queen c7. Biswa goes bishop e3. Oh, interesting. Guys, this is this is Biswa's pawn sacrifice. Queen takes c3 is going to put king on f2. Wow. I hope Biswa doesn't blunder with something like queen d2 giving up the rook. He's going to give a pawn. D, uh, ds downloaders can you please write to chessbaseindia at gmail.com we will fix your issue whatever it is with regards to your product and in case if there is any issue we'll send you the tracking id so you know where it is please do write to us yes king f2 good move by biswa and now savita has an extra pawn but look at her dark squares guys see the dark squares are terribly weak and Biswa has a dark squared bishop. Savita does not have it. So that's some compensation for Biswa there. Let's see how he makes use of it. Castles. And I think a good move can be rook b1 to b3. The, the last thing that Biswa should do here is try to exchange queens. I think exchanging queens is not a good idea. But also it's very difficult to play this position because you are a pawn down and... You know, you're playing a high... Oh, nice move by Viswa. Knight b3 because he wants to put his bishop on d4. Let's have a look at Savita there. She is so focused. Guys, if there's one thing that I want all of you to learn from Savita today is her confidence. You know, she's super confident overall. She loves to, you know, take on challenges. I've seen that in her play. Uh, never fearful of anyone. And I think this is one thing which I have to ask her today. Uh, as to how does that confidence come in her. By the way, everyone who is here, who is a member uh, in April, all of you had contributed towards Savita's uh, training. And uh, thanks to that, she was able to train with Shyam Sundar for several hours and GM Shyam Sundar and it has helped her a lot. So a big thanks to all of you. By the way, knight c6, good move by Savita, controlling the d4 square. She's controlling that important square there. And now Biswa has to come up with some new ideas. What is he going to do? Guys, also, there's a small request to all of you. If you can go to Savita's Twitter account, which I have put in the link and mods, if you can put it, I would love if we can take her Twitter members to uh, Twitter follows to 100. She has right now 20. She's just made her account. Uh, and, you know, 
it would be nice to follow her uh, her you know tweets and everything when she makes them okay knight c6 now what can biswa do here you know you want to connect your rooks bishop d2 is fine okay it's it's a decent move queen e5 the queen is not trapped as yet now what do you do do you play a bishop back here with the idea of queen d2 that looks like okay move yeah thank you tra uh, travel with nikhil roshan for putting in the link i will uh, pin that one over here so that you guys can follow we'll try to make sure that it reaches 100 today queen e1 oh biswa wants to put the bishop on c3 now that's his plan that is his idea d5 hmm now guys if d5 let's think if i go bishop c3 she'll play d4 but if I don't do that, if I don't play bishop c3, she's anyway threatening to take. If I take pawn takes d5, like here in this position, if I take ed5, she will take with the knight. Somehow black pieces are so beautifully positioned that the bishop, which is my, you know, dark squared bishop, which should give me some advantage, is not able to try, is not able to do much. Oh, by the way, there was some interesting idea here. Guys, here, Biswa, instead of playing bishop d2, could have gone queen d6. This is an interesting idea because now your rooks are connected and he could have played his rook to b1, rook on uh, rook hd1, rook ad1. But he went uh, bd2, queen e5, queen e1, d5. And let's see what happens next. Okay, he went here. It comes back queen f4. Oh, Savita has a nasty idea of giving a check here. Pin, because the pawn is pinned. Sorry for that noise. Maybe I Queen D oh and Biswa all of a sudden has decided to exchange the queens, which is like in us in a way a small defeat, but actually it's a big blunder, right? 94. Oh, he blunders the queen. And look at Biswa there, he's not happy with what he's done. Ah, what a pain. <laughs> Biswa, that what was a that was a queen blunder there. Oh, painful. Yes. I think I misplayed the opening and then there was no chance. No, actually, uh, can can you, uh, like, did you resign the game? Yeah, yeah I did. Ah, okay. Uh, Savita, can you take us through the game and at what point Biswa could have made better decisions? Uh, okay. Uh, e4, C5, and F3. B6, D4. I think at the point when he played Bishop E2 castle, and then, uh, yeah, here he played F3, Queen C7. F3 is good. But uh, normally they used to play C4 and then Knight C3, but he played Knight C3, Bishop E2, so mm. even I have no idea, so I was just. Playing. So Biswa here, uh, Savita says you can start with C4. Ah, okay. Uh, so if you play C4 in this position, and then play Knight C3, it you can get more space. And this is one of the drawbacks of Sicilian Khan, because with A6 you are allowing White to build the Maroxi bind. Also, another good way I think, and Savita you can uh, tell me is Bishop D3 here. Because there is no pressure on this knight, so your bishop can be better placed on d3 with knight c3 castle and you can straight away launch kind of aggressive play with f4. Got it. Yeah, true. Got it. What did I play? Bishop uh, this, b2. This. Here. Here. Bishop b4. Good move. Uh, and now... I just couldn't figure out how to save that pawn. So. Yeah, f3 is, is always a problem and I think... Uh, Savita went queen c7, but she can also do d5 here, right? Yeah, but uh, if I play d5 here, it's e5, no? Ah, e5. e5. And then, yeah, knight d7, game goes on. 
and then f4 right and yeah, y, y seems to yeah. be doing okay here got it oh that's why you first played queen c7 yeah. and if if he would have defended here then now you would have played d5 yeah something like that no now maybe i can play no a d5 and then check c3 take now yeah, Bishop C3. Ah, you take here. Okay. Take here and then take this with the knight. Yep. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> but Bishop E3, very interesting move, yeah, Biswa. Uh, Savita, did you expect a very interesting pawn sacrifice? No. Oh, I didn't I know. I thought he'll play something like Queen D3 or Bishop D2. Ah, you thought he will play this or this. What were you saying, Biswa? I didn't know it was a pawn sacrifice. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it turned out into a very interesting one because after take, 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 king f2, uh, you have compensation on the dark squares because all these squares are slightly weakened and she doesn't have a dark square. You have one. Got it. No, I felt here that, okay, something, I have some advantage somewhere, but I just couldn't figure out what I am. Yeah, so castles. development maybe. Yeah, yeah, you have dark square uh, control and development. So here maybe something better. I wanted to trap that queen, but I couldn't. <laughs> I can figure out how to trap it. Yeah. Well, how should he, how should one continue Savita in this position? Maybe rook f one and then somehow you can play king g one and then knight b three. Yeah, like he said, he wants to trap my queen. So knight b three and then. So first maybe Biswa saving your uh, like putting your king to safety could also like you have long term Got edge it. here because I thought the... I thought king was reasonably safe. I like I don't know. I was stupid, but I no, no, I think it's also possible. I mean rook, I thought you can also play rook b1 here with the mm -hmm. idea of rook b3. This Got is also a possibility. To improve your rook position but you went knight v3 your idea is bd4 i guess yes uh, and then putting pressure here so good move knight c6 was nice by her uh trying to and here maybe is a time to think of some good good uh opportunity because i think she's slowly and steadily consolidating and if you you know you this might be the key moment for you to make some decision mm -hmm. But what to play? Yeah, that's what you need to think. Guys in the chat as well. Can you think here? Uh, queen B3. I, I just, I had this, but again, I kept thinking it's bad. I thought maybe I can go into the end game one pawn down, but. Uh, yeah, it's possible. I mean, you can play queen D2 or queen D3. But queen I D3 think keeping thinking. the queen yeah, was. After queen D2, uh, takes check and then D5, no? Yes. And black should be. Completely. Yeah, you have double nah, picture. Help queen d3. Oh, queen same, d3 huh? at least fixes the pawn structure. And uh, I don't know. Yeah, she will still go d5, I believe. Yeah. Okay, but cool. Got it. Why does some compensation work? He has two bishops, but the portion is closed. So. Got it, got it. So what you did, I think here a good move. Biswa could have been queen d6. That's what. Yeah, I but queen thought. d6, I don't know. Queen c2. Sorry? Queen c2. Oh, that might be too much. Right? I don't know. Oh, but it's too dangerous. <laughs> That's like eating more than you can chew. Uh, I guess rook c1 or yeah. then you will also take this pawn. And what about your <laughs> development? The other rook to c1? Yeah, it's possible. I mean, let's say even if we do this, this, and I think this, or maybe. I I guess black should be in trouble here. Good. Yeah. I don't I don't see how black is in trouble, but uh, if you're saying it, then okay. I mean, the thing is that here, yes. da, the yes. development is not easy for Got black. It. Also, e5 might be on cards, rook d1, rook d2. But yeah, it's possible to get the other rook as well here. Got it. Got it. Maybe it's stronger. Maybe we are much stronger. Is it trapped? No, queen, no, queen b2. Queen b2. Ah. And then, oh man, this bishop, bishop somehow, if you can. I can't. Yeah, this this is, I mean, very risky though. Um, mm. 
maybe we can uh bishop uh, c5 yeah bishop c5 with the idea of bishop a3 correct this no way. it's mating uh, mate threat yeah yeah rook e8 yeah rook e8 yeah yeah and then this way bishop a3 yeah she will go queen e5 trying to exchange queen e5 rook c6 no Ooh, nice. I don't. It's working or not? Oh, yes. Why not? <laughs> If you go here, then just. What is happening? I don't even. No, this this is what happens when you have so much lead in development. Like right. you, you need to be resourceful. Like it's mm. not very simple. Mm. How to convert? Uh, how to get the edge? Like if you mm. give it to the computer, it will find it. But on Got the it. board, you feel like you have to keep attacking the queen. But mm. you see, her her coordination improved with mm. every move, while yeah. yours was not moving. So with queen d six, maybe it was your chance to improve your coordination. Got it. I saw queen d six, then I was like, I don't know, but it looks extremely stupid, <laughs> and I just felt like the queen will keep eating all my pawns, and uh, it'll just finish. Uh, that's why I didn't play. I think it was not easy, but I mean, it's this position is quite tough. Overall, for anyone to uh, figure out what to do, so but it's interesting, like what happened here, and then uh, Savita very tricky, yeah, Queen uh, F4. So I saw uh, Knight G4, and I was like, uh, okay, so Knight G4. Uh, let me. Uh, even then, I don't know how I was going to save it. Uh, King E1 or something. Uh, I thought I'll play um, H3, but uh, yeah, then the game just finished. Like yeah, uh, you went queen. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. H3 is alright. I think you had to move the king, maybe. But what? Yeah, maybe. but king G1, I guess. No. Oh king wow, king G1 would have been decent, no? King G1, queen E3 check, and queen F2, something like that. Yeah, yeah, but maybe for king G1, I can. See, play the e3. thing is now his uh, her pawn is weak. The no, but she can do E5. Ah, then so I lost anyway. Yeah, that that's what makes your position a bit like cramp. E5 is blunder. Bishop C1. Sorry. Oh, Bishop C1. Trap. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Savita is in top. You're too ball. fast, Savita. Too quick. Too fast. Too fast. So so not not uh, E5. <laughs> Guys, whoever is playing to her today. <laughs> Please, uh, you are going to cry so much. <laughs> Please drink enough water, cause you are going to get dehydrated. <laughs> But, It's very strong. Yeah, I mean, then this is just showing, right? That on dark squares is still some trouble for you, for black. But okay. what to do? Like maybe queen d six back. Maybe you can play rook d eight or something. Rook d eight. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I thought of uh, resigning after the opening and uh, coming back and saying, "Can we just start again?" But then I was like, "Okay, let's uh, let, less pain for everybody. Not like second match. I <laughs> will not blunder something again." <laughs> okay. So, yeah. uh, do you want to play with three plus two one game, Bisa, or you are okay? I think that will be extremely pointless uh, to play <laughs> three plus two uh, if I can't even survive five moves in uh, <laughs> ten yeah. plus two. But it was such an amazing. Uh, uh, Fun game for me. Um, so thank yes. you, Sarita. Thank you, Sagar. Thank you, Viswa, uh, for coming, yes. and uh, thanks for joining in. And Savita, uh, soon Viswa uh, will start playing some tournaments, and maybe he will meet you over the board somewhere. Yeah, I'm yes. waiting. <laughs> I'm waiting. She say I'm waiting to meet you in <laughs> over the board. <laughs> oh man. Okay, guys. Whoever else is playing, uh, please order some electrolytes because uh, a lot of tears. you will shed okay bye guys thanks viswa bye bye okay guys that was biswa there savita uh, well played and of course it is really very sporting of biswa to play and you know the thing is he gets to learn here uh, from like strong players but at the same time you know you never want to lose right so that takes some courage to to play Yeah. Savita, one question before you start playing the viewers is mm -hmm. how do you have this very confident approach? You know, I've seen you playing since a very young age. You're always very confident. So, uh, what gives you that confidence? I don't know. I don't know actually. Uh, 
I am at place. I just wanna uh, give my best and better. Uh, I don't know. You always want to give your best, yeah? Yeah. Mm. But when you're playing some strong player or some grandmaster or something, you are never scared, right, of them? I was pretty scared, but uh, when playing chess, you know, like, uh, I just want to play chess for, like, I just want to enjoy my game. So, mm. while playing, I was not that scared. Ah, while playing, you don't feel so scared. Okay, yeah. okay, wonderful. So, uh, guys, the way in which you challenge Savita, there's a link in the description. It's called play.chessbase.com. There's a room called Blitz Challenge. Over there, you need to log in. You need to make an account. It's a free account you can make. And then you just challenge Savita. There's a name, Savita Shri there. You double click on it and send her a challenge of three plus two. And Savita, you can uh, select anyone that you like, but uh, make sure that there, there's a name to them, not a web or a guest account. So, uh, and you can play against them. And guys, very important. Please don't cheat. Please play fair. You know, Savita is here to uh, play against you. If you play, you will learn just like how Biswa did right now. He learned a few things. I'll be commentating on the game. So I'll be able to, uh, I'll be muting Zoom when she's playing. And then after the game, I'll get her thoughts on the game. So that's how it'll work. Uh, but please don't try to cheat. Uh, so, Savita, whenever you are ready, please yeah. let me know. Uh, and by yeah. the way, you have to take a challenge of 3 plus 2. Yeah, okay. Can I? Or... Yes, you can start. And let me know when you have begun. Has it started? Uh, yeah, I'm making my first move. Oh, you made your first move. Okay, let yeah. me see. Let me follow you. Yes, Bobby. Bobby Fisher 666 is what Savita is playing against. Savita is white this time. Okay, all set. All good. And guys, one second. Let me just make sure I have the game here. Okay, I'm going to mute myself on Zoom. Now Savita can't hear me. So let's go. Okay, it was e4, c5, knight f3, d6, d4, cd4, knight d4, knight f6, knight c3, a6. Oh, the knight orf, bishop c4, she plays the sozin, bishop b3, bishop b7, attacking the pawn on e4. That is the position. f3 by Savita. She's defended her pawn on e4. She says, okay, I'm going to build a nice position in the center. Let's see what Bobby Fisher does now. Maybe he can play his pawn to e5 here. Here, that could be an idea. He's thinking. taking a lot of time by the way uh, black usually puts his pawn on e6 in this line e5 would you know keep the bishop open so b4 was played in the position okay kicking the knight away maybe just move the knight to e2 oh she plays knight to a4 mm, interesting okay what is black going to do now maybe black has to play e6 get the development done travel with Nikhil Roshan thank you for becoming promoter of Indian chess guys I have shortlisted whom we are going to help this month with the uh, YouTube membership amount so uh, I'll, I'll let you know very shortly by the way e6 bishop e3 Savita moving very quickly here Amit Panchal, thank you for your super chat. I think I missed one super chat before. Travel with Nikhil Roshan. Many people have the confusion what to do after they click the link or is it mandatory to... No, no, not mandatory to join with audio or video. Just click the link and be there uh, and challenge Savita Shri. That's what you have to do. And just long castle here. She put her queen on E2. So Savita is playing very quickly. She has long castled. 
Bobby Fischer is also uh, moving quickly. Rook c8 is a good move. I think, I think, guys, Savita is definitely looking at some sacrifices on e6. Could be bishop takes, could be knight takes. First, she puts her king on b1. It's always a good idea to tuck your king in the seven, open c file. The king is now safe. Okay, short castle. And guys, you can learn from Savita how she's playing. Oh, and she starts with her attack, g4. See, generally, you put your queen on d2, correct? You put your queen here. She's put her queen on e2. And now, oh, e5, I don't like this move, guys. I don't like this move because the knight jumps to f5. And Savita plays it instantly. She puts her knight on f5. And look at this bishop on the open diagonal. Beautifully pointed over there. Positioned. Yeah, should we take on e7? Then the d6 pawn is weak. But this bishop is not so good. I think maybe she'll go. Oh, she takes on d6. She says, thank you for the free pawn. I'm going to eat it. Bishop takes, rook takes. And then now rook d1. Get, the, get your other rook into the game. She plays her rook to d1. On the cards is knight b6, knight b6 and bishop b6 in the position. Savita has started off with a win already against Biswa and now maybe this would be another. Oh, there's sun uh, coming in. So that's what it's there. By the way, Bobby Fisher's time running low is down to 30 seconds. Also, f7 is weak here. You can see this bishop. Fisher, playing Fisher's weapon against Fisher is such a nice thing. Yes, yes. Lucky Leshant. It's uh, important to make an account to play. Okay, rook d8. But only 7 seconds left now. How do we finish this off? Should we go g5? I think that looks strong. I also think knight b6 is not a, such a silly move because knight b6. Oh, she goes h4. She's like, okay, I don't care. This is all tied up. Guys, this Savita is the player who's going to represent India. Oh, now bishop takes e6. Yeah, she takes it. Now rook takes e6 as well. In the online Olympiad, she's going to play. Oh, bishop b6. So quick with her tactics. She's so quick. Now, if you take knight b6, there is rook d8. And Savita has won her game. Savita, well played. Yeah, thank you. Okay, Savita, can we go over this game very quickly? Uh, yeah. Okay, can you see the game on Zoom? Yeah, I can. Uh, okay. So, you are white? Yeah. And you played e4, c5. So, this was the knight orf. And yeah. is this your favorite line against the knight of bishop c4? No, I used to play when I was young, but now uh, I, I usually used to play bishop b3. But I just play bishop c4. It's been a long since I've played. When you, now you've become old or what? You're 14 years old. <laughs> no, when I was uh, 8 or something. Yeah. <laughs> when you were 8, you used to play yeah. this. It's called the Sozin attack. And you know, Fisher used to love playing that with white. And yeah. your opponent's name was Bobby Fisher. So you played Fisher's the weapon against Fisher. B5. Bishop B2. Yeah, Bishop B7. You played F3. Uh, okay, and then she pl you played Knight A4. How do you decide, Savita, whether you should put your Knight on E2 or A4? Because E2 is pretty passive, so... I went for knight a4. Like, More active. When I play bishop a3, I have something like knight b6, something like that. So mm, okay, I just went it. for knight. Got it. Okay. So e6 here, knight d7. And and again, queen e2. I thought you would play queen d2. Uh, I play queen e2 because, and then after a triple o, I have some tricks like e5. So that's why I play queen e2. Okay, guys, important thing to remember that if you put your queen on e2, then the rook is on this open file. 
like and then you could have some ideas tactical tricks with the move e5 very good very interesting because i think queen e2 usually people don't prefer but uh, it's a, it's an interesting i think there's something known as the velimrovich attack in which you put your queen on e2 so bishop e7 long castle here i was thinking about bishop e6 uh before yeah yeah here here, here. here yeah but I think and because the knight is undefended on a4. A4, yeah, that's why I didn't play like. If a knight is on c3, I would definitely make sure. Then you would have yeah. sacked. And usually, guys, this is good compensation because you get another pawn. Then you break the castling and put the knight on f5. Yeah. So I think Rook c8, king b1. He shot castled. G4, e5. Knight uh, it's, f5. it's a mistake, no? It's a mistake, yeah. right? Because it does two things. It gives up the f5 square. It opens up the bishop, weakens this pawn, right? The knight f5, rook e8, and then you took, yeah. took here, and I I liked how you finished it off like nicely. H4, and yeah, he blundered a rook and very sharp. Bishop b6 can't take this bishop because of rook d8. Great. Okay, Savita, time for one more? Uh, yeah. Okay, one second. I'll just make sure that there's no light. You can start the game. Okay, guys, who's going to get the next chance to play against Savita? Let's see. Uh, Savita, she is playing. Oh, she started her game. She's playing oh, against Sagar. Oh, she's playing against someone named Sagar. But uh, the name of the player is Sagar Udasi. Wow, that's a nice name. Uh, E4, C5. C3. Oh, Sagar plays the Alepin variation. Savita goes D5. And then ED, Queen D5, D4, and Knight to F6. Oh, a lot of moves have happened. Okay. Knight F6. She goes Knight F3. Then Bishop to G4. Okay. Nice move. Yeah. Savita is. Uh, has her openings figured out. Knight a3. And she took on d4. Oh, this is interesting. Bishop c4. Attacking the queen. Savita's uh, pieces are being attacked. What do you do? Do you take bishop f3? No, bishop f3 is not good. Oh, he, she gives a check. What? What? Sagar? What is this? It's just a free piece. Take it. Savita is going. Oh, oh, is there some. Wow, what a trick. Guys, is there some trick? My God. Look at this. So, Bishop e3, if you take, maybe Sagar wants to play Bishop f7. And look, the queen cannot move. So, you take Knight g5 check. Oh, take here. Take here. Take here. Okay, but still your piece down. No, I think, I think Savita, that's a bluff. That's a bluff. She might take it. Oh, she took it. Savita, you can't bluff Savita just like that. Oh, that's happening on the board. That's happening on the board. King, now where do you put your king? It's important, maybe. Yeah, king g6 makes a lot of sense. Because you don't want to allow any queen b3 check ideas. Knight e4, just bishop d1. Yeah, the trap did not work. Trap did not work. And Savita is winning here. Guys, again, strong players, you can't make such trap. Uh, by the way, a small request to everyone here. Uh, if I have put pinned a link in the description uh, and you can go and follow Savita there on Twitter. She just made her account recently. And if you can go and follow her, uh, you will be able to get updates of her and her tournaments as well. Savita, that was short and sweet, yeah. very quick. Uh, and were you a bit scared at some point that there was some trap? Yeah, like when he played Vishnu Narsana, I was like, I was just freaked out. I thought I, was, I just missed some tactics. 
Did you mm-hmm. had you seen it before taking on E3 or you had missed it? No, I saw Bishop B5 and then G6, so I thought I was okay. And, but I just so I just played it, but I must be special. Oh, but you missed. Okay, working. firstly, firstly, just to uh, get your ideas on the opening, uh, D4, Knight F6, Knight F3, Bishop G4. What is a good move here for White? Can you hear me? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you want me to say okay? I'm yeah, yeah. E2 something. Bishop E2 is good, yeah. Here, uh, knight C6 something, and but then C4. Yeah. I think C4 would be very strong, no? Or is there some queen E4? What, what do you do? Maybe E6 first, yeah, might be. I don't remember it. Mm, e six perhaps. Yeah. Okay, but you went bishop g four. He went knight f knight a three, and you took. He yeah. played bishop c four, maybe. And uh, yeah, yeah. I, I think you are already better here. Yeah, uh, he just murdered. Yeah, and this piece. So okay, it was short, but it was a exciting game. Uh, Sagar tried his best. Let's go for another one, Savita. Yeah. Whom are you going to play against? Mm. Guys, uh, just if you can't find her name uh, in the community tab on Play Chess there, just refresh. You will find it there. If the game has started, yes, she is playing. Oh, she is playing against Puneet. Okay, I'll mute here. Look at Savita seeing in the other direction. Maybe she is remembering her preparation there. E4, E5, Knight of 3, Knight C6, Bishop B5, the Ruy Lopez, Bishop A4, B5. She goes here. And now, after Knight 2, A5, she goes bishop d5. Interesting. Uh, she could also think about winning this pawn, I guess. But she has decided to go bishop d5. But what's her plan to c6? Isn't that just attack? What? Oh, she takes, what is this? What is this? 95, my God. Guys, she is just brutal, huh? Brutal. Or is that a just, is this a good sack? D5, King D7. Three plus two guys d4 so savita is saying basically that here uh, i am i have two pawns for a piece and i'm just having your king in the center here i'm developing my pieces very nice. very interesting oh namit Bir singh walia says there was this idea of queen f3 queen a3 mm, interesting interesting goes king e8 i like how punit is playing here maybe savita castles yeah yeah. Bishop e7, good move, good move. Knight d2. d6, knight to d3. Perhaps black is just unraveling in this position. Yeah, yeah, black is playing pretty well c5 maybe now that could be a move bishop g4 but bishop g4 i have f3 i think savita has long term compensation you know she will play her pawn to f4 then pawn to e5 she's going to play in the center 
Guys, Savita is right here. She plays knight to f4. Bishop f7. Yeah, b3 may be a good move here. b3, you know. Just limiting the knight. Because now knight c4 should be strong. Knight c4. And the knight comes into the game. So maybe b3 limiting that knight was, was an idea. But maybe Savita, what she wants to do is aim for e5 in such a position. h6. Oh, h6. Now it's difficult because if you go bishop h4, there's g5. Now can we do c3? Yeah. I think black has a great position. Also, black is playing very well. As always, guys, I would highly recommend all of you to play fair. Okay, make sure that you do not use any unfair means because that is really, really not uh, a good thing. Right now, BG5. Yeah, this is just, it's just over. I think not over as such. I mean, there's still some tricks, but. Ah, the black king cannot castle. So, queen C7. Hmm. Queen c7, e5 now? Can we go e5? Please a4. King f8. See guys, right now we have close to at least 100 players in the room. So people are able to see and challenge her. If some of you are not able to, uh, I guess there is some issue that you have to uh, figure out. Bishop h4, what is this, g3? I think slowly Savita is getting good play here. Bishop e7. F5. Oh, her pawns are moving forward. Getting nasty. But D, D. This, this also looks very dangerous because black will put the bishop on D5. D. Do you take with the knight maybe now? Because I take the pawn and the bishop sits here. That That's what makes the bishop very strong. Yeah, the pawn structure looks nice. Check. King F1. No, that looks bad. Bishop C4. Bishop C4. Queen B5. Now E6. Yeah, she pushes the pawn to E6. Queen F5 was hanging. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think Punit has played quite unbelievably in this game. Bishop hit. A4, last 27 seconds for Savita, 34 for Punit. I mean, Savita is in a bad... Oh, great check and yeah, she loses the rook. Yeah, that's a lost position there. Okay. 
takes yeah now she's a piece and a rook down so Rook D2. Yeah, somehow this game is just the accuracy is off the charts. I mean, so cannot help it, but yeah, guys, I will, I will ask you to please play fair in these events because it's no fun there if you are not going to end. It's completely not right if you don't play fairly. But uh, Savita, how was the game? Oh yeah, it, it wasn't that good because uh, in opening he played knight a five, but I should have taken knight e five. Ah, here, here you could just take here, right? Knight e five. Yeah, I could just take. Hmm. I thought uh, I want to play bishop f seven. I thought it, be it was an interesting idea, I thought. Like, uh, there's this uh, line in the Petrov. I don't know if you know. This, take, and take this. Mm -hmm. And it comes to, it gives similar positions. Mm -hmm. So here, when you took 95, king e7, d4, I mean, I yeah, I gave him a lot of time. Yeah, but I think already like f3, knight f4. I thought b3 was maybe better here, stopping knight c4 idea, or yeah, it's better. Uh, it's better, but I thought I want to play queen e2 and then e5. So, ah, you wanted to play queen e2 and e5 here, maybe this, but then b4. b4 yeah, uh, I mean, your position, you didn't have enough compensation, I think. And then, yeah, the central pawns were looking dangerous, but... Yeah, were... the damage is also weakening my game. Correct, yeah. correct. Okay, let's go for another game, Savita, shall we? Yeah. Okay, so those, if you know, if you are not playing fairly, there's nothing to be proud of by beating the opponent because, I mean, what did you get? She's anyway going to be a classy player. And there are no bragging rights. Knight c3, pg7, e4, d6. Knight F3. Castles. Okay. Savita likes to play aggressive openings. Oh, he takes on E5. And now this is going to be an end game. Let's see how she continues. Okay, c6, stopping this pin here. And also the, you know, uh, here d5. Basically, knight d5 was a threat. So with c6, she's done that. Now, knight takes e5 is an idea, guys. Look at this uh, thing, knight e5, rook here. I think rook, this is one possible line. Like rook takes and then rook d8 check. Because if you go rook e8, there is bishop f6. If you go maybe knight e8, possible, but then there is rook c8 in this position. So let's see what Aro Arora does. 
after c6 he is still thinking E eight and next, I think you can move your bishop away, uh, knight d seven, or you can play knight d seven, knight c five, knight d six, play for the d4 square okay rook f d1 and how should black continue here knight a6 you want to put the knight on c5 Or should we continue here with white Aro Aurora is taking a lot of time I think that's not a good idea Bishop takes Bishop takes Rook d2 and now Knight c5 with the idea of knight e6 and here maybe taking this bishop wasn't the wisest like bishop takes knight wasn't the wisest of ideas bishop takes bg4 rook fd1 rook ad1 knight c5 was played okay I think what Savita would love is that there is a weakness guys and she will take on f3, bishop f3, put a knight on e6 and then put the knight on d4. That's what she plans to do. But she could also avoid taking on f3 and move the bishop back to e6 but then the knight wants to come to e6. You know so she'll take. Yeah. And now rook d7. It's a good move by Arov. Uh, how do we continue? Maybe rook b8, just defending the pawn. Yeah. Arrow has very little time on the clock. Rook d6. Maybe bishop e7. Bishop e7. Uh, king g7 is also okay. Bg4, but now knight d4. Hmm. And I think black is now doing bet is better h5 slowly savita is going to put a lot of pressure oh rook here but bishop e7 yeah attacks the rook and also the bishop and yeah arrow is going to lose this but very good fight by arrow very well fought also knight takes f3 was hanging correct over there so take 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 on d6 take on e8 rook up and he's not losing on time, he's fighting till the end. Take on A2. Yeah, so 
Eso ahorita has played this game very nicely. And now with b5, she will trap the knight. c5, now b5, anyway. Ah, rook b4. I like I like how Aro has fought till the end, not given up. So that's uh, very good. Queen B two. Check on D four. That's an interesting formation. Check like this and like a triangular movement of the pieces. Queen F two and Rook H four. Yeah. Well done, Savita. That was a very nice game. Uh, let's have a look at some of the key moments. Uh, like you played the King's Indian. This is one of your openings yeah. you like. Yeah. yeah. And uh, take, take, take. Bishop g5, you went c6. Maybe short castle is not a good move, right? Yeah. Uh... Play or something. Maybe knight takes e5. Rookie. Yeah, rookie eight and long castle. Isn't this the line? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. And it's... then if you take here, then rook d8. Rookie eight. Rookie eight. Yes. And um, so perhaps here you have to play like after knight e5, rookie eight, ca long castle. Maybe something like knight a6. Knight e4. Ah, 94. Mm. Yeah, but I think white is slightly better. Yeah, 94, 94. 94 should be knight f6. Yeah, white has... No, wait. Knight d7. Knight e2 and f6. Oh, both are hanging here. Because this and this. Maybe bishop f6. And then I can just play. Knight d7. Yeah, but bishop, bishop e5. Bishop e5. Yeah. yeah, maybe this, uh, or perhaps you should wait for taking on e4 here. Because maybe knight a6 is a good move, no? Yeah, but, and then I, and then I can... Okay, this is uh, this is an interesting position. I think it's it's theoretical. Uh, just to check here. Yeah, ninety five. Rookie eight, long castle. Knight a six. F four. There is h six here. And if bishop h four, there is g five. Okay, okay. But in the game, Savita, she castled, uh, he castled, you played rook e8, rook d1. What is your main idea in this position? Uh, I just want to play, I just want to develop my pieces and, uh, and knight c5, knight e6, knight d4. That, that was my main plan. That, that's the main plan. This is a weakness in this exchange variation of King's Indian. So uh, that's how it goes, knight, bishop g4. Knight c5, you took on f3, then put your knight here. But, you know, long term, you have the trump now, and I think you are better here. Yeah. Did you see knight f3, or you missed it, and then you saw, or you were like, let me trap the bishop with this? Uh, actually, when he played rook f3, I, I fastly played b7. So... Ah, you quickly played it, yeah. okay. Yes, that's that's how truthful she is. You know, she could have said, "Oh, I just saw it. It was trapping the bishop," but you know, she didn't see it. Okay, Savita, one more game. Yeah. Okay. Are you enjoying Savita playing? Yeah, yeah, I'm enjoying. Okay, cool. K 
Okay, the next game has begun. D4 by Raghav. Savita gets another black. She goes knight to F6. Knight C3 D6. So Savita is putting up this King's Indian like setup. Oh, Knight F D7. Guys, look at this. If you play Knight B D7, you want to play E5. But with Knight F D7, your idea is E5 and you want to put your Knight on C6. That is your idea. Bishop D2. E5. And now knight goes to c6. Guys, a request to all of you to play fairly here, to play with your, uh, you know, <laughs> mind. To You get a chance to play against one of the best minds of the country, one of the young talents. And secondly, do check out the pinned comment and the link is in also in the description to challenge her in the pinned comment to follow her on Twitter. Uh, she, she was here with 22 followers. I think you guys have followed some of you have followed and now she has 50. So thank you all those who followed it. But if you can make it till 100 would be very nice, you know. Uh, and then more people can get updates of her on her social media on Twitter. Bishop D3 and now you go F4. I think that makes a lot of sense. Yes, she puts her pawn to F4. And then you go h6, g5. Knight d2. And now you go. Maybe you st if you go with g5, then the queen can come to h5. Yeah, she's okay with that. Oh, f3, but now g4. Yeah, maybe h5 and g4. First she goes knight g6. And now h5 g4 is what Savita would love to do. And Raghav has given away one of his key bishops in the position. So for him, it's important to start play on the queen side. You know, b4, c5, that way. g3. Hmm. Interesting move. But with g3... Can we go bishop h3? No. I think you can wait, you know, with g3. Maybe rook f7 with the idea of rook g7. That seems like a possibility. You can even just play h5. Just improving your position. Because when he takes, you can jump in with your knight to f4. So she took on g3 okay and now h5 h4 could be an idea queen d7 hmm but queen d7 i think queen e2 if he goes queen h3 there's queen g2 so i think maybe it's a small upgrade in the position for white
king f2 oh so if you go queen h3 there is rook h1 that's also a cool move but putting the king in the line of fire of the rook yeah g4 that seems like a trouble now g takes f3 is a threat g4 a rook h1 okay and now bishop g5 good move i think savita is slowly and steadily building up pressure and threat is to take on d2 in the position and then take on f3 Bishop e2. Can we can we take the queen f7? Queen c2. Yeah, maybe I can take on f d2, queen d2, and g f3. Takes bishop f1. Now Savita's position is great. The king is weak, but she has to find a way to get to the king. This knight should reach g4, but how do you do that? Bt7. Queen takes, king takes, bishop h3. On to c6, both players down to 20 seconds, hardly any time. Rook h1. Wow, putting pressure on Savita. She's down to 7 seconds, plays rook h8. King takes f3. She didn't want that pawn to be lost, but she had to give it up. This is a real fight, guys. Knight e7. Rook f1. Maybe cd5. C D C D F one A six stopping knight B five in the position rook H two maybe rook B eight with the idea of, oh she goes knight C eight for sudden Rago is starting to play very quickly and Savita can go knight B six knight C four here g4 knight b6 b3 rook c8 oh she goes knight d7 her idea is to play knight c5 b4 stopping that but once again knight b6 knight c4 on the cards i think savita is somehow managing to create some play king d3 king d3 yeah knight f6 attacking g4 oh look at her trap guys g5 rook c3 check Oh, he falls for it. He falls for it. Savita, very, very smart there. She spotted that in a jiffy. Yeah, and now she wins. Great, great fight. I mean, you know that small trick there. 
uh, Rago had to be slightly more alert, but very good fight by him. Excellent fight. And Savita, guys, this is, you know, in general, when someone plays a lot of chess, you know, someone sees a lot of chess throughout the day, like a top player, top players playing and they see the games, you generally realize what is a game where people are putting in effort and fighting and what is a game where you have you are you are using unfair means so <clears throat> this game was definitely a great fight by Raghav he he put up a strong resistance and Savita in the end managed to trick him King f2 and now the pawn is going to queen yeah Knight d5, yeah, she finds it, and now queen takes b4. It's over. Hello, Savita? Yeah. yeah, how was the game? It was good, but uh, it was good somehow. I kicked him. <laughs> yeah, in the end, you came under a lot of pressure. But just, uh, I mean, tell us about this move, knight f d7 that you played. Uh, uh, normally, uh, they used to play knight d7 or knight c6 and then they used to play e5. Uh -huh. But I like to play knight d7 and then e5, f5, e4. Ah, so it frees your uh, f pawn. That's one of the main yeah. reasons. Okay, got it. Sorry. So I don't have to waste my time by playing knight e8 like that. Knight e8 or knight e8. Okay, so knight e7, e4, f5. Were you not afraid of knight g5 here? I can just play knight f6. No? You can just play, and then if he goes here, you just take. Yeah, you just. And this is okay? Yeah, it's okay. Um, like normally, King Senior players, uh, they have to play like this. Huh? Mm. And what, yeah. what to do? Yeah? Like queen c8? f4, or... and then queen c8. Okay, f4, then c6. So. Yeah. Okay, got it. Bishop g5, knight f6, pd3, f4, takes. I think your position was great, but take, was thought, this taking this was good? I don't know. Like, if I if I played or something like queen e7, I thought he has g4. Yeah, maybe h5. Because h5, if he takes, then you are very happy, right, to take. Yeah, but I can, but I can play queen e2 something. Queen mm. Or maybe B4, C5, like that. Yeah, but now you have G4 ideas, right? But, okay, he will just keep the position as it is. Yeah. Like B4, C5. I think it's better than what he played. Maybe better than, oh, okay. But you played FG and he played a good move, King F2, I guess. Or, or maybe not. Maybe I thought Queen E2, perhaps. With yeah. The we need to is just uh, no, just keeping things like that. Yeah. So King F2. I think King F2 was a mistake. Yeah, mistake. Because now you got G4. Yeah. Then you got Bishop G5. Then you got this everything flowing in. But Ma maybe uh, I think I could have just played Bishop D7 and because white portion is cramped. So. Yeah. Also, you can take no this pawn. And like I don't take see. take and BG4. Perhaps this. Twenty-three. I saw this better than after twenty-three. I thought white was better. Oh, like, white was better. better. No, not better. Like non-clear. Mm. Yeah, but uh, you took and also you're a pawn up, so it's all good. But yeah, when this happened, he started playing really well. Yeah, like this part. I think now white should be at least equal. Like this should be around. Yeah, it's it's just equal, but. I don't know why he played rook f1, but he just he was just exchanging all the pieces. Yeah, I think that's generally a mistake that is made when you are playing a stronger player. You want to exchange pieces, and so this was very sharp. Yeah, Savita knight f6 yeah. <laughs> and rook c3. Okay, good. Okay, so shall we go for one last game before ending the day today? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Mm. Okay, Savita is playing against Jaim. Okay, let me.
playing oh e4 c5 b4 wow that is that is a wing gambit there savita is white oh savita is white she plays the wing gambit wow b4 d4 now oh a3 a3 interesting Knight f3, knight c6, but now take, take, yeah, take a b4, bishop b4, c3, then d4. This is a much improved version of um, Ivan's gambit. I like white's position, actually. Jaimad, Jaimada ki Jai, oh, okay. But now where do you put your bishop? Bishop e7? Maybe that looks the best. Just put your bishop here. And white will go d4. The position. Guys, tonight at 7, we have another stream with Setu Raman, who's going to join us all the way from Barcelona. He's won his tournament, the Barcelona Open. So this is the last game of Savita. I think she's already played. This is her sixth game that she's playing. And uh, I hope you all had a good time playing against her. Now, knight e4 is hanging. So maybe queen e2. Or you think that let's sack a pawn. Let's castle. Knight e4, maybe rook e1. But then there's d5. Okay. So perhaps you have to save this pawn. Queen e2 makes a lot of sense. Yeah, but Savita doesn't want to put her queen on e2, perhaps. I don't know. What does she think? Maybe queen e2, she thinks that castles and d5 might be. So she might have to play d4 here. I don't know. d4, if ed, then e5. Plus queen e2. Queen e2, d5. Is that a move? Like, look at this idea. d5, pawn takes, knight takes, knight takes, knight f4. Ah, there's bishop f7. Anyway, that's that's risky. Yeah, that's that's not easy. Oh, d5 was played. E d, knight d5. But now knight e5. Is, doesn't that work? Ah. <sighs> Can you not take this pawn? Takes. Maybe knight takes one move. But knight f4 is what I thought is the is a good move here. Knight f4. Then there's knight f7 maybe on bishop f7. She, let's see what he does here. To knight f4, knight e5. Black is still thinking. Bishop e6. Knight takes, yeah. Pawn takes. Yatendra Jain says, when is the training camp starting for online Olympiad? Uh, I think it should begin like 
at some point uh but it's it's going to be there so but not i don't know when exactly and by the way uh i will be going to chennai and also i think <clears throat> amruta and i both of us will be going for the coverage of the tournament and also samai may join us over there as well so it will be good fun guys to follow the event can we go f4 isn't that possible f4 f5 like what's the problem four knight bishop f4 bishop f4 rook f4 should queen f3 okay ah maybe f4 there was some knight c3 tricks queen g5 Yes, it's online event, but you know, then after the game, we can interview the players and, you know, uh, so being there would be nice. F4, careful now, careful, the bishop is hanging. Maybe g3. She takes on e6, but f6, ah, takes with the knight. Knight c4, and now white is better because all the pawns are equal, a7, c6 is weak. Yes, yes, we will stream online Olympiad. C5, D5, push. Push, karo, push, raho. Let's push D5, knight f4. D6, let's go. Yeah, pawn push forward. Okay, Savita is winning here, pushing her pawn, queen e7. Queen to c6. Knight <clears throat> to b6. Or just take on a6, rook a6, ah, but then d7 would hang, so she first defended it. Now rook a6. Queen D six. Queen A four and it's a fork. And yeah, this is winning. But ah, there was no rook D seven also. E seven was hanging with the check. So Savita is winning this. And rook a8 should do it, yeah. I think, yeah, take is simplest. Get your king in, king e2. C6. I like how Jaimada. Mm -hmm. Kaji Kijai has played, he's played well, he's fought well. But Savita is moving now inside, like f4. Just the king is coming in. Oh, nice, nice. See, they finish off very cleanly, yeah? Like, eight, threatening to rook a7, and you lose the knight. Awesome. Uh, Savita is going to take all the pawns and then it's going to be a check again. On e4. It's a checkmate. Yeah, congrats Savita. And I think you just 
lost one game but apart from that you won everything so great play uh, by yeah. you and uh, let's just have a quick look at this game because you played a very interesting opening you played the wing gambit did were you playing this in childhood as well no no, no. I, I just started playing six months ago like uh like you know like in blitz i can play like you know mm. like... but your opponent played well right yeah the opening he managed it like normally they has to play something e6 or something no so e5 is a good move I don't know. Actually, B A three was my move, but B three is also there. B three, okay. And I thought also D five is there. Yeah, D five. I remember there is this trap. If you take here, it's a blunder. Yeah. So knight F three. Check yeah. and lose the rook. So knight F three here. Yeah. Game goes on. E five or E six. I don't know. E five. Yeah. E five A B four Bishop B four C three. Yeah. This one. Then knight a3, bishop c4, yeah. and so on. Yeah. Knight. Normally, bishop belongs to uh, b1 at some diagonal. b1? Yeah, like bishop d3 and b1. Ah, okay. So e5, and here I thought black was doing well. And this was a very interesting move, d5, because why didn't you take this pawn? Ah, you took, you took, you took. Yeah. Bishop e6, yeah. And here, I mean, black is doing okay, right? This is a yeah. fine position. Yeah, it's fine position. And what about f4? f4. I can just normal bishop on bishop. Yeah, because were, were you afraid of knight c3? Does oh. that work? Oh, it's not working, no? Knight c3, queen d4, bishop e3. And now can I take, uh, what should I take? If I take queen c4, then queen c4, bishop c4, fg5. And if I play bishop c4, then bd4, bishop e2, knight e2. And if I play queen c3, bishop e6. then bishop e6. So it's not working. Yeah. So maybe f4 was possible, but you went queen f3. And yeah, now he should have taken with the pawn, I guess. Yeah, even if you took with the pawn, I can I can still play knight c4. Knight c4. Mm. Because yeah, he has a lot of isolated pawns, so yes. I think I was pretty sure. But she took with the knight, and now you pawns are equal, and her pawns are weak, and you started pushing that pawn, which yeah. uh, turned into a monster. Yeah, great win. And well done, Savita. Congratulations. Uh, and also, best wishes to you for the Olympiad uh, that is coming up. I think that's not the only event you're playing. Uh, before that, is there anything else or after that? No, I just want to prepare well for Olympiad. So I'm not playing any events. Okay. And uh, after the Olympiad, will you play something? No, actually, I'm uh, I'm 10th grade right now. So I also need to concentrate on my academics. Oh, you are in 10th grade. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Study well. And also, we are looking forward to you participating in some over the board events. You are a WIM. Do you have any GM norms? Oh, uh, no. I, I mean, don't. WGM norms? No, I no, don't. No, not yet. Okay. Okay. So you're going to try and get them. Okay. While parting, uh, can we... Can we invite your dad, maybe if he's around for, for a few minutes? Is he there? Uh, yeah. I, uh, had... I don't think so. Can I go and check? Yeah, because... you can go and check. I had written to him, but maybe if he's busy, then we can skip it. But if he's free, maybe we can talk yeah, for okay. two minutes. Okay. Best wishes for Olympiad, says Prasanna Surange. Thank you. Uh... Savita OP. Yeah, yeah, I have a stream at 7, but there's still 10 minutes left, so I can do something.
Yeah, and guys, let's do this, no, before. Uh, uh, sorry, he's not at home. So he's my, not at home. I'm, yeah, my mother told me he went to buy some drugs. He went to grocery shop. Okay, okay, fine. Uh, please uh, tell, uh, give, uh, you know, our greetings to him and your mother yeah. as well. And yeah. Savita, yeah. thank you for being here. And see you soon. And I'll maybe come to Chennai for the Olympiads. I'll meet you there. Oh, okay. Yeah? Yeah. Bye. Take care. Guys, that was Savita Shri there. And uh, if you are here, let's do a small thing, right? Let's try to do this. Uh, let me just pull up the link. And maybe if we can do it before I go to the next stream, that would be very kind of all of you to support her. Savita. Here it is, Savita Shri. Yeah, so that's her Twitter. And she has 60 followers right now. So guys, if you can help to put this up to 100, would be very cool. Savita is really a big, big talent in Indian chess. And I think these days it's very important to have at least some people who follow the social media accounts and all because it helps sometimes for you to uh, get sponsorships and you know if there's an active account so if you guys can follow her it would be very nice uh, overall so please do consider and i'm going to wait till we reach 100 if if it's possible you know we have more than 300 people here Travel with Nikhil Roshan says, Kaun bataega mere raaz kisi ko tumhare siwa humne hum raaz bas tumhi ko bana rakha hai. Wow. Guys, the link is in the pinned comment. So please do go there. We reach 65. Be inching towards there. 35 of you can, if you can do that. I, I had this aim today. But if you can support it, it would be very great. 68. Okay, till that time, I can talk to you as well. I'm Raghav. Okay, chess robots. Well played, Raghav. You played well. In her profile picture is an albinal peacock. Wow, says Bharat Goel. Yeah. Guys, last year online Olympiad was so much fun. There were so many top players and I think Amruta, I, Samai, we commentated for the duration. There was also Adiban who joined in. Then there was um, Tanya, Saumya, Anish, Rajabov. So many people joined into the commentary. It was great fun. And this year we decided to take it up a notch, go to the venue. Microsense is sponsoring it along with AICF. So I would like to... Ah, the Savita chess in the chat is different from Savita, who's Savita Shri. So both are different. Oh, nice. 78, guys. 22. And I have to go to the next stream at 7 o'clock, where Setu Raman is going to show his win over um, how he won the Barcelona Open. So guys, do join in there. It will be great fun to learn from one of the top grandmasters of India. We're going to ask you a lot of questions as well. Okay, Rahul Norana, thank you for uh, fixing it. Harsh Dubey asks, when will Gary Kasparov come again? I do not know. But I hope that he will soon come uh, at some point for some other streams as well. But it was great to have him. I think it was one of the most amazing experiences in my streaming career. 82, 18 more to go, guys. 
I don't have Twitter says gamers universe, but I can follow her on Insta if she has. I think she has made an Insta account, but I still can't find it. But when it has, when it is there, I will let you know. Thank you, Vinod Kumar, for going there and following her on Twitter. Will Anand come again? Yes, Anand will play in the Olympiad. Keshav Chanda. India's schedule for the Olympiad. Uh, first round on 8th. First 3 rounds uh, of the preliminary. 4th to 6th on 9th of September. 7 to, 10th, uh, 7 to 9 rounds on 10th. So 8th to 10th preliminaries. 11th and 12th rest days. 13th quarterfinal. 14th semifinal. 15th finals. If we reach the finals, then it's basically 8th to 15th. Thank you. Travel uh, with Nikhil Roshan for following. Suraj Satpute, thank you for following. Subhu V, thank you for becoming. We need Anand in Grandmaster Chess. I want to invite Anand, but I think I'll invite him for the last session, you know, when we have. My idea is to do 64 sessions. I don't know if it's possible. Oh, we reached 90 and 8, 655. Thank you, Anand Yog Nilai, for becoming. I'm missing a lot of this due to my CA studies, says Kirtan Rajgor. All the best, Kirtan, for your CA exams. Mayur Gondalekar, thank you for following. Who is next on Grandmaster Chess? Ah, well, I'm going to write to a few people. Uh, but from tomorrow starts Champions Chess Tour as well, where Vidit is playing. So there'll be a lot of fun over there as well. Samad Chandelier says, basically, we'll have gold on 15th. Well, hopefully, 15th will be the day, yes. But if we win, if we go all the way to the finals, our team will play on the 15th of September. Yes, yes, Baskar S, we will be streaming all the games. Uh, Hari Chandran, uh, FIDE has a calendar, but also Chessbase India has a calendar for all upcoming events. So you can check it out. Rishabh Kumar, when will we have a sub battle? Oh, I haven't thought about it yet, but at some point we should think, right? About sub 94, six more to go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Satvik Mangal, thank you for enjoying this. Manual Aaron for a stream. Yeah, it's a great idea. I mean, if he can come for Grand, I would be ready to make an exception because Manuel Aaron is such a legend. He's the first IM of the country. So it would be very nice to have him. 96, four more. Who's going to be the last four? Yes, all those who want to take a short break and join us for Setu Raman's stream, please do so. It'll be starting in a few minutes after this. Sub battle against Samai. Yeah, I want to also invite, yes, Hikaru Nakamura is one, Daniel Naroditsky. I was also thinking about Yasser Sairavan. There was also uh, Wesley So on my mind, Fabiano Caruana. Uh, so all of these people are whom I would like to invite for Grandmaster Chess. But let's see, I mean, step by step. 97, one more person. Travel with Nikhil Roshan says, have you any plans to teach us subscribers as an online class? It will be very helpful. Maybe, yeah, I was at some point I do get this idea. I create something like 30 players, but it has to be selected very with rigorous effort. As if you guys are going to put in uh, like, you know, effort would be, I can think of training and then, but you have to work. So that there, there has to be a selection process and we could do something. I mean, we can think about it. Ah, justice for Magnus. Of course, Magnus Carlsen, I would like to invite as well. Of course. Getting MVL would also be great. True. Thank you, your friendly Indian CEO, for that. Okay, guys. It's my next stream is about to begin in one minute. And three people follow, but I guess it's a bit difficult right now. 
to to manage it all guys last three people uh left please do so i mean i'm also a very uh, stubborn guy i don't give up but i mean guys come on it's savita and she'll soon be a big star and you'll be oh yes five people subscribed followed and 102 thank you all thank you so much for following her and see you all bye in my stream with setu take care Thank you so much, everyone.